People who know me will attest to the fact that I'm a big fan of Castle Howard. And there's good reason for that. Castle Howard is one of the most magnificent stately homes anywhere in the world. Recently featured in Netflix's Bridgerton and also recognised internationally as the backdrop to Brideshead, Castle Howard is world renowned and makes for a fantastic filming location. But what's the story behind Castle Howard? Why was it built and what makes it such a spectacular stately home to visit? Stay tuned to find out. Hi guys, I'm Mikey and welcome to my channel. If you've not guessed it, I have a little bit of a soft spot for Castle Howard. It's my most local heritage site and I've been visiting Castle Howard for years. You can imagine my delight then when I discovered the castle had been featured in Netflix's Bridgerton. Seeing Daphne's response the first time she emerges into the colossal Great Hall is extremely relatable and that's the effect it has on me pretty much every time I visit and I'm sure this resonates with many other visitors to Castle Howard. In Bridgerton, Castle Howard stands in as the fictional Cliveden Castle, the home of the Duke of Hastings. The house was clearly picked due to its incredible architecture, huge scale and opulent interiors, and Bridgerton really gives you a taste of what Castle Howard has to offer. Castle Howard is an enormous stately home, situated slap bang in the middle of the Howardian Hills in North Yorkshire. The estate occupies nearly 9,000 acres of stunning countryside and in addition to the farmland, woodland and parks also features multiple historic buildings and monuments. In fact, the Castle Howard estate is so grand it even has its own mock medieval castle walls. So yes, the Castle Howard estate is very vast and very beautiful but the showpiece is of course that stunning stately home that stands at its centre. I've mentioned that the house is quite iconic, and whilst most people will associate it with the TV and film adaptations of Brideshead, the house is very famous in its own right. You know that saying that Rome wasn't built in a day, and that certainly holds true here with Castle Howard. Now this building has certainly uh, evolved like many other great houses in England with the changing needs and tastes of its owners. The estate has a very long history, but the Grand House has its roots set in the 17th century and was the vision of Charles Howard, 3rd Earl of Carlisle. As the head of one of England's great families, the Earl was extremely wealthy, probably very vain, and certainly very ambitious. Let's just say he had designs on the future and required a showpiece house to demonstrate his wealth and influence, and further elevate his social standing. Castle Howard then is the product of this ambition and was certainly designed to impress. And surprisingly, the Earl commissioned his friend John Vanbrugh to help him realise his ambition for this house, which I say surprising not because Vanbrugh wasn't well established in England at the time, but because he was known as a dramatist and not an architect. In fact, he'd not built a single house in England ever. Although he went on to become an accomplished architect, responsible for the likes of Blenheim Palace, Castle Howard was Vanbrugh's first commission, and he thus makes for an interesting choice. He certainly had some help, however, in the form of celebrated architect Nicholas Hawksmoor. The Earl's gamble paid off. The great Baroque house that emerged was one of the absolute marvels of its age, and with construction starting in 1699, the bulk of the house was completed within just 10 years. However, when Vanbrugh died in 1726, the house was still missing its west wing, as attention had turned to developing the parkland and gardens. The construction and evolution of the house actually spanned the lifetimes of three earls, with the house finally being considered complete by 1811. If you're enjoying this video and you want to see more like this, then please do consider subscribing. Your support means more to me than you can imagine, and it means that I can keep making these videos. Also, if you're feeling particularly uh, generous, please give this video a thumbs up. Interestingly, Castle Howard is asymmetrical in design and appearance. Whilst Vanbrugh's design incorporated the intricate and flamboyant details associated with the Baroque style, by the time the fourth Earl constructed the West Wing, the Palladian style was all the rage. Thus, the West Wing is built to the rules of symmetry and strict proportions, a style that is influenced by classical Roman architecture. What this means for Castle Howard is that the design incorporates two very different architectural styles, 
something that has been both loved and loathed by subsequent owners. Whilst later efforts were made to smooth out this transition in architectural styles, if you look carefully at the south elevation, you will see a slight disparity in symmetry. I absolutely love it. And these beautiful architectural styles continue throughout the grounds. With the imposing mausoleum being designed by Hawksmoor and the beautiful Temple of the Four Winds by his master Vanbrugh, Although a later addition, Nesfield's iconic Atlas Fountain is another stunning structure, and likely the most photographed. If the exterior of the house seems extravagant, then so too are the interiors, and without talking about every single room in the house, and believe me, I could, there are some notable uh, mentions. The opulence of the interiors hit you as soon as you enter the house, with the visitor experience taking you straight through to the main hall. This mighty stone-clad chamber is naturally lit by a massive skylight and features a grand staircase worthy of a king. The beautifully preserved bedrooms and dressing rooms that follow are predictably worthy of such a great house, and the bus-lined vaulted corridor that serves as the antique passage is something that Caesar himself would have been proud of. The long gallery that spans the length of the west wing is another amazing space worthy of recognition. But let's not get too carried away, because the Great Hall at Castle Howard will absolutely blow you away. As featured in Bridgerton, this jewel in Castle Howard's crown is quite simply, in my opinion, the most extravagant and mind-blowing internal space anywhere in Britain. It truly is magnificent. The Great Hall sits at the very heart of the house and features a stunning domed ceiling, originally painted by the 18th century Venetian painter Pellegrini but reconstructed in 1962 following the Great Fire and total destruction of the domed roof. The Great Fire that ravaged the house in 1940 was absolutely devastating for Castle Howard, and reconstruction work didn't begin until 20 years later. This certainly wasn't going to be an overnight fix, however, and by the time Brideshead Revisited came to uh, film in 1981, reconstruction work was still very much ongoing. In fact, the work to rebuild Castle Howard continues today, with certain rooms within the house still bearing the scars of the castle's worst ever tragedy. The work to restore Castle Howard is truly an exceptional story, and is testament to the passion and hard work of the Howard family and all those that continue to contribute to its remarkable restoration. So Castle Howard is an absolute goliath amongst country houses, and serves as one of England's largest and grandest stately homes. Its stunning architecture, opulent interiors and remarkable setting make it not only one of the most iconic houses in the country, but also one of the most loved and respected period homes anywhere in the world. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video, or at least have learnt something new about this spectacular stately home. If you have enjoyed this video and you want to see more like this, including cinematic videos and documentaries, then please do subscribe to my channel. It means so much to me and it means that I can keep making these videos and showcasing uh, Britain's heritage. Also, if you want to find out more about some of England and the UK's best stately homes, castles and other historic sites, then please do check out my blog at eheritageuk.com. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay safe.